So here is the situation in testing the table. I don't need that, I think. Um, I've uh, secured the lower part uh, of the way system and then just have the table sliding. And I've uh, tightened the gib somewhat. Better setup for testing. Just uh, zeroing at the both ends and then running on a parallel or straight edge. Tighten the column to the or bolted it down. Checked it's square this way. So measure with the angle here now four and then five up here. What I wanted one hundredth of a millimeter rearward tilts because when the head um, is mounted, this will automatically flush. I mean dead zero or possibly half or one hundredth forward at the top. Well, at the side here, it's 4-4, four, four. so that's also perfect. So measuring the, uh, the transverse uh, alignment, and uh, now I'm testing this side. So I dial it in now, and that's uh, within one hundredths of a millimeter end-to-end -end here. So I'm quite happy with that. And the same goes for this longitudinal way. And from end to end it should be uh, roughly one hundredth of a millimeter deviation. See it goes a little bit but ends at one hundredths. But then again you have some slack in this now setup. So I could easily tweak this a little bit more and get it better. Testing the ways, this is the in and out travel. That's one hundredths difference. That's okay, I think. This is measured with uh, a straight edge on top of the ways, as you see. Because uh, the, the table is actually a little bit bowed. Uh, not that way, but the other way, so I, I'm preferring uh, this straight edge uh, instead of running on top of the table itself. And the table travel longitudinally. Quite pleased with that.